Good evening and a warm welcome to all of you to the masterclass series organized by School of Media and Communication. I'm Vilma Sarawo, faculty at Manipal Academy of Higher Education, Dubai. I know all of you have joined from different parts of the world and it's indeed a you know, best platform where we thought when most of us are stuck at home in times of lockdown and coronavirus spread everywhere, this would be a greater opportunity for us and for our participants as well to interact with professionals, to gain knowledge and to make sure uh, to have a better communication in whatever fields we are interested in. So this is our sincere effort in making sure we connect with professionals who have excelled in the field of cinema, filmmaking and television production and make sure we broadcast this concept in the form of masterclass where interested and potential students and who wants to pursue their career in the field of cinema and television production can interact with the professionals. So in today's session, we have the privilege of interviewing the Bollywood cinematographer, Mr. Kamaljeet Negi, who won Best Cinematography Awards for his work in Madras Cafe in 2012. Also, he had a mention of Best Cinematographer in Filmfare Awards in 2015, his work in Piku. A warm welcome to all our participants to this masterclass series. So before we begin, I would like to introduce our resource person, Mr. Kamaljeet Negi. Along with his films, Piku, Wiki Donor, Jolly LLB, and Bhutnath Returns, he has also worked on hundreds of commercials featuring prominent actors and celebrities ranging on different products from tourism to insurance to beauty products where he has worked on hundreds of brands. A warm welcome to you, Mr. Kamal. We are excited to have you here and interact with you for another 60 minutes and gain all your experiences and share the knowledge with our participants. Thank you for having me here. Also, speak a little more about Kamal. He hails from Almora, Uttarakhand, and began his career as a reporter and documentary filmmaker. He also moved to Poland and UK to pursue his studies in cinematography. And after he returned, he ventured into the Bollywood cinema where he could never stop. And in fact, as an audience, we never wanted him to stop. He has also done works for various short films and documentaries which has won recognition in prominent national and international film festival. He's currently worked on the project Shersha by Dharma Productions, which features popular celebrity Sadat Malhotra and Kiara Advani. And in today's session, he will be sharing his current project details, his experiences and information on art and crafts of filmmaking. Once again, a warm welcome to you, Kamal. To so begin you. with your Thank current you. project, Shersha has been a prominent work which we are all waiting for, especially on Sadat Malhotra's birthday. The uh, first glimpse of the entire film was shared on social media. So this is a biopic on the Kargil war hero, Captain 
Vikram Batra. So could you take us through, especially for our audience, could you take us through this project? Give us an insight all about this project. Um, um, Sher Shah, uh, we started shooting Sher Shah last year in uh, April, in the month of April, yes. And it has taken a whole lot of time to actually finish it and it's still in the uh, final stage of its uh, post-production. Uh, it was a very hectic uh, schedule. We shot in uh, mountains, we shot in Kargil where the war was happening. We were not at, uh, like, we were almost at the same height, same altitude, same kind of terrain where uh, where he, uh, where Captain Vikram Patra had fought. Um, <clears throat> So the the whole shooting schedule was very very tough for us uh, being at such an high altitude uh, dealing with those kind of terrains. Uh, film is not only about the war. Film is also about uh, the life of Vikram Badra. You know, how uh, his personal life, his uh, his professional life as an as a, as a officer in the army. So film, film deals with the drama, uh, what made Vikram Batra, Vikram Batra, the hero of the Kargil war. Um, so yeah, this, this is what um, we had. We were dealing with real shells. We, the places we were shooting um, when we were clearing up the area, uh, we got to know that uh, we had a dead shell, uh, which was, uh, recovered by by one of the like, two people who were clearing the area and then army was called in and they said this this shell must have come from pakistan at some point of time in in, in okay. four decades two decades whatever and we had to do the uh, controlled blasting uh, to those shells so so yeah it was quite exciting to be there so i hope the the film is uh, going to come out soon uh, as soon as the cinema opens up and I'm sure people are going to um, enjoy and like the, um, the story, the life of Vikram Patra, uh, what he went through. Yeah. True. Uh, in fact, uh, when uh, I was doing a little bit of research about this, you know, uh, going to that war of area and shooting it is not that easy task. And uh, moreover, uh, it's a Bollywood debut for the director, Vishnu Vardhan. So uh, when you were working with him or be it even with the crew, how was your experience? Because you're basically bringing out uh, the real life of the uh, uh, the war hero, Vikram Batras. And you, you had to, you know, project as it happened during the Kargil war. See, uh, uh, Vishnu Vardhan might have... Uh might be doing this first uh, film in Bollywood, but he's not uh, a new director. He has shot a lot of films in uh, Tamil. So, Absolutely. but uh, he was completely new for me. Um, mm. We were working uh, for the first time together. Uh, before this, I had not known him. Uh, so, um, I think uh, that is, uh, 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 being, a being a debut in Bollywood was not, an issue for me. Um, mm. the, the issue was that he was coming from Tamil Nadu. But then after having yeah. my first meeting with him, uh, the whole notion of uh, him coming from Tamil Nadu might have language issues went away because he is so fluent in Hindi. Uh, okay. So language became a, a, a nil issue. And uh, from there on, um, and he is very good uh, as a leader. He, he led the show, the team, really well. Um, his, his, his team, his, his uh, way of dealing with people, how he takes everyone in confidence, whatever he wants, you know, he would, he would talk to everyone, he would keep everyone on the same page, what he desires and, you know, what he's looking for, why he's looking for that. So he, he would have his reasons to do what he was doing. He would convince everyone even if we had a uh, difference of opinion he would say this is why i'm doing this and this is why i require certain kind of 
you know emotion or mood or uh, mm. colors so uh, that is uh, that that is something uh, which uh, was amazing about him uh, mm. while we were shooting and uh, in the whole process we actually became very good friends so wow yeah i think it was a great experience for uh, me especially um mm. to work with which is 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 young he's energetic we would we would just start our day early in the morning to go to the okay. hill top where we shooting and then by by night we would come back uh, so i mean yes um, it was tough and he is he is tough uh, we we uh, thankfully we were mm. all very good in good we, we were good in shape you know um, mm. he he's been a sports person as well and uh, okay uh, i have been in sports so we are we were all fit and ready to go and uh, you know hit our marks um, we made all our actors fit as well you know they had okay. to train and uh, they had they had to go through a very hard work actually uh, not only siddharth but many many uh, uh, other supporting uh, artists and actors um they they all had to work hard and the kind of terrain we were in they they had to be fit yeah. there was yeah. uh, there was no other option um True. we were not going to shoot anywhere in the studio so so yeah i mean they they had to be fit and they they all were fit <laughs> yeah in fact you know when you're speaking about terrain and considering your role as a cinematographer where you have to work with you know those equipment the moment you know someone you know anybody wants to be a cinematographer but you know the the, the equipment that we handle of course now digital cameras have made our works quite easy and simple but you know speaking from the perspective of a cinematographer who has used these equipment and especially in these terrains so how how prepared you were you know especially when it came to this project uh, uh, where where it involves a lot of action see i i had done a madras cafe and uh, yes. so i knew what i'm going to uh, get myself pushed into um mm -hmm. but uh, see I, after doing madras cafe i was not interested in doing war movies at all i okay. mean i, I didn't okay. a lot of war um okay. but then but then when shersha happened uh shersha mm -hmm. is not about war war is one mm -hmm. aspect in the film so uh, yes. certainly we 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 spend about uh, 30 40 days shooting uh, the small uh, sequences of wars um uh, but uh, but the 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 places the decision of shooting it in kargil was tough yeah. uh because uh, we we were not only shooting wars uh, the two big wars which the two points which he captured by himself uh, his his unit um, had captured two points so we were going to shoot those two wars and we were also going to shoot the kashmir part uh, okay because he was posted in sulapur before he yeah. went to uh, uh, war so we had to shoot that also in kargil so all this was happening in kargil so we had to be there for 40 days but this terrain was very different from what i had done um, uh, the terrain i had done with in madras ke it was all mm -hmm. flat land um, mm -hmm. but here it was all hill going up going mm -hmm. down and the 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 the, uh, the edges of the stone the jack jack jagged stones over there so if you start mm. uh, slipping down you all your uh, you will get scratches and you know uh, there will be blood so it was we realized this when we we were doing our recce uh, for the second time because first time when we went we, we were not sure that we will shoot on that location we were looking at other location we were looking at options okay. uh, in that studios we were looking at many many uh, things but then um uh, later in the process of the production we we we, had, we were told that you know uh, uh lay might be very difficult to shoot because of the altitude okay. uh, sickness uh yeah. and kashmir we we won't get the terrain and studio was out of question with the 
because too expensive to be on us in a studio so the second time when we went back when we were doing our tech rekis that is the time we realized that um, we will have to be prepared for this terrain because this terrain okay. is not um so when we went back we were we were we were like uh, aliens because we were wearing a lot of uh, protective uh, shields and uh, and and it was all handled you know i mean the, wow we hardly the camera on a stick so mm -hmm. it was uh, difficult and it was a revisit to what uh, i had uh, yeah. already dealt with uh, but but the approach was certainly slightly different mm -hmm. in madras cafe i was using a lot of zoom in this yeah. movie i was using that uh, those i mean i was using zoom but i was not using i was using more of block lenses more of wide lenses we were we were mm -hmm. walking the, with the army units there were a lot of blast i mean the, the mm -hmm. as soon as the first day as soon as i started rolling i just uh, up on while while i was doing the first shot i fell down on the ground with the, with the camera okay. nothing i mean i saved the camera but my <laughs> elbows the shield, shield to call the uh, weight so yeah i could see the the dent on the shield so okay that 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 tells how difficult it was uh, you know we could have broken up bones uh, but True. but we had to the precautions and uh, yeah that is what you can do i mean if if you could get hurt you're going to get hurt uh, we yeah. we were getting hurt by the bullets which 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 were being fired they were blank shots but but there would be mm. some kind of uh, the cartridges were flying so we we okay. we had the flying into the lens so that that experience yes certainly uh mm. is exclusive and uh, i think not everyone gets that experience true <laughs> absolutely in... absolutely so uh, yeah. you know uh, you also made mention of madras cafe so uh, uh, when we speak about this bollywood uh, action film it it gives a different feel itself uh, you know for for the entire story it has for the powerful uh, content it has and especially through your camera work you have narrated the story so beautifully through visuals it, it it still you know no matter how many times you watch it the visuals are there in in our minds so uh, when it came to come uh, when it came to narrating the story especially working with the director it it also gave you a recognition where you won the best cinematographer award so uh, while working with the director here you know i'm sure you have had a lot of different experiences but to give that feel to our audience here let's let's take a glimpse into the uh, trailer of madras cafe में रॉक की कॉबर्ट ऑपरेशन के लिए तुम सोली रिस्पॉन्सिबल हो एक लोकली इन्फ्लुएंस्ड गरीला फोर्स है क्रिटिसाइजिंग अर नेशनल पॉलिसीज डजेंट मेक मी इंटरनेशनल मरना नहीं चाहता अगर अन्ना को और पावरफुल बनाया जा रहा है बी अ होल न्यू सिविल वॉर गॉड डैम इट दिस इज़ नॉट अ गेम। आई एम नॉट प्लेइंग गेम्स इधर। आई एम हियर बिकॉज़ देयर ह्यूमन लाइव्स एट स्टेक। ये मिस्टेक है। मिस्टेक है। हमारे बीच कोई ठीक है तुम किसके लिए काम करते हो रूबी मैं कोवर्ट ऑपरेशन करता हूँ लीक है मेरी टीम में तू सहर टीम में चार से पांच लोग हैं मतलब आज रात स्ट्राइक कर रहे हैं मेरे को लायर्स पसंद नहीं वैसे भी तुम यहाँ पे बिल्कुल सेफ नहीं है सेफ तो मैं कहीं नहीं हूँ सर 
हम निगोशिएट कर रहे हैं विक्रम ऑफिशियल ड्यूटी पे था इट्स कोड रेड एनी सस्पेशियस एक्टिविटी ऑफ द सी आस्क देम टू हिट इट जो हम देखते हैं सुनते हैं सच सिर्फ उतना नहीं होता सो यू नो यू ऑल ऑफ यू वॉच दिस ट्रेलर सो दिस थ्रिलर इज सेट अगेंस्ट द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ श्रीलंकन सिविल वॉर so and it was brought into reality through the frame and shots of the cinematographer mr kamal ji so uh, when you started working on the project especially for our audience can you give us an insight like where does your role as a cinematographer begins and ends here well uh, i think the role of cinematographer starts um, as soon as the the director had decided to take it on the floor mm. uh in commercial world but uh, otherwise a uh, lot of uh, time directors start talking to dop as soon as they think uh, you know that they are going to make a film and with this film um sujit had uh, started working i think 10 20 years ago and uh, it came into uh, you know concrete terms it, it started happening after we did owner uh, mm. so yes i mean i came into the scene as soon as uh, they decided to uh, go uh, with the film um, i was glad that i was called to do the film um, because i was uh, i had just done one feature film with sujit mm. so sujita called me uh, to do this film it was it, it was an honor and uh, uh, and then uh, the question was how to deal with the film since we both were shooting a lot of commercials together it is uh, uh, you know we we, we 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 would discuss about how how we going to deal with the film what is the film going to be like um, and he was uh, he was very uh, clear what 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 kind of film he wanted um mm. and he made me prepared you know uh, he said he told me how difficult it is going to be and uh, how how we were going to deal uh, with the situation and the terrain um so i um i for me also the preparation was more in terms of uh, you know how we going to deal, deal with the with the contrast with the colors uh, and the technique to shoot the film and uh, that is where uh, uh, when when the when when the producers started talking about you know the equipment how what what we are using and how we what uh, what all we are going to order so that is the time when we uh, sujita and i started uh, talking about the the technique and uh, so something uh, something uh, what came to my mind is because it was a thriller and uh, and we were going to be at various locations so we mm. have to give that uh, feeling of uh, being on the edge you know uh, most of the time sure. uh, uh, so i i i thought of a uh, of a scheme where you know we can we can always be the camera can always be moving and it okay. can move on your shoulder or on a track or on or or on a dolly or on a steady yeah. cam but then um, but then i thought maybe the lens the lens can also move you know we can mm. we can shoot oh. with the lenses and uh, and we would we were doing two cameras sometimes we were having many other small little cameras uh, digital had just started happening uh, in those days so so most of the time we were shooting with zoom lenses and the 80 90% of the film is on a on, on zoom lens which is just constantly uh, uh used so mm-hmm. yeah um that was that was something i think which worked for the film and then editing was amazing uh, which yeah. makes that film to be uh, what it is uh, and the sound design really. so it's not uh, what you see is 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 the camera work but there there is a lot which goes behind it and yes. certainly uh, 
the, the credit goes to the director who sees it all and he he taps yeah. the the potential he sees the potential in in kamaljit negi or in or in chandrashekar mm. uh, prajapati you know he he he, he knows uh, who who can deliver it so i think that yeah. that is that is the that is the eye of the the director who cast True. us as as his uh, collaborators so so yeah i think i think it 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 matters uh, who you collaborate mm. with the collaborations uh, make make the end product what they are yeah in fact uh, uh, when i was going through some of the visuals uh, making of uh, madras cafe i came across a visual where uh, when you were moving with the camera and you know that there were few who had to come towards the camera you fell along with the camera uh, uh, so you know it, it involves a lot of hard work and even when you spoke about shersha you you made a mention so indeed it's it's a tough work so uh, when it comes to the director uh, uh, you know they say cinema is the director's vision while the cinematographer becomes his eyes so uh, when you were working for be it madras cafe or you know any any other films especially while working with sujit uh, suppose you had a different eye different different perspective and you, you had to convey this to the director or the crew how how it would happen from your side uh uh madras cafe was very organic uh vicky hmm. donor was uh, something uh, for me it was my first film yeah so but the way we approached uh, because sujit uh, he knew uh, that you know it is my my first film but we we had worked uh, for years uh, by the hmm. time we went Wicked owner. Uh, we were shooting all uh, commercials, so mm. and uh, for me, uh, commercials was uh, easy. You know, uh, not a okay. not, not any day we would go and we, we can we could shoot uh, stuff. But then when when we went in to do Wicked owner, uh, he made it easy for me in the sense it it was just like shooting a commercial every day. so every scene okay. i would see shooting the because i made it easy for myself as well mm. uh shooting mm. a feature film shooting a feature film for the first time i could have uh, you know uh, been in awe of the 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 the, the, the whole word feature film but yeah, yeah and it very simple again uh, madras cafe it just happened within a year after you uh, mm. don't and uh, it was tough uh the the this you know the 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 way uh, we we have been working uh, or we uh, whenever we were working uh, we we know uh, each other quite well in the sense you know what mm. what the director is thinking and what he might want from a scene although you might have discussed uh, scenes especially when uh, it came to piku uh, yeah when we uh, go we knew i mean swita had told me that you know this film is 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 not a cinematographer's film it is a very much director's film and yeah. it is going to be talking 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 but at the same time when i i, I found my uh, you know way to deal with it um to bring in my things uh, how yes. i can make it um supplement what is there in it mm -hmm. in the script uh, mm -hmm. through camera and uh, we, we 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 kind of uh, used to see the rehearsals we used to go uh, uh, you know a day before the shoot we would do a lot of rehearsals and mm -hmm. uh, we would decide sometimes how, how we can deal with the scene uh, by seeing the rehearsals and some mm -hmm. and most of the time when i go in the morning and I say, okay uh, sridha what do you think we are going to do uh, with the scene um, so if he has the idea then he will, he will give me uh, his uh, version and uh, mm -hmm. and if i would uh, you know i would think otherwise i would 
I would suggest, you know, this might be beneficial for the scene because of this or because of that, or this is the way we yeah. should treat the scene. So it is very mutual, you know. We, we and we have to get the scene uh, can as soon as possible with uh, with good performances. So mm. it's not only me and uh, Sujita, but I think it's with any director. We mm. have worked with. Uh, Subhash Kapoor, I've worked with uh, Nitish yes. Tiwari, I've worked with Vishnu Vardhan. So it's uh, mm. um, it's all uh, your relationship with the director. With I the think director. Uh, it's uh, that that helps a lot. That helps a lot because it's a business of communication, and this relationship uh, comes through communication. Everything True. else is the tool. You know, we are just using camera. It's a device. So it's just yes. a tool. Um, but it. It is about the relationship, you know, uh, the building up of the relationship. Uh, most of the time, uh, Sujita and I would not even now uh, have to discuss the scene. We would, okay. we would, you know, we would know each other will know how how I am going to respond to a particular scene or how he is going to deal with yeah. the scene. So. Uh, so there is there is a communication uh, you can say telepathy but but yeah i mean because uh, yes. the more we are going to discuss the, the the more time we're going to lose so but there is there is some certain kind of a, a rapport which builds yeah. up over a time and uh, it's mm -hmm. easy to keep the scene you know uh, from time to time yeah yeah in fact in fact that brings me to a question about your your bond with the the director Shujit Sarkar, uh, you have worked with him for Vicky Donor, Piku, Madras Cafe, and not just feature films. There are you know plenty of commercials that you have worked together, and all these films have touched upon those topics which which have been considered as a taboo. Uh, the topics which are you know not much discussed, or you know people feel a little shy to speak about it. And in fact, these films have been blockbusters and have been you know critically acclaimed so how has this has uh, this bond has been between you and uh, Sujit in terms of maybe working for commercials or feature films how it, it has grown over the years so could you also give us an insight especially uh, about Sujit Sarkar I think you have to ask Sujit Sarkar about himself <laughs> but uh, from uh, from my point of view yes I mean I've been Lucky or blessed uh, to have, uh, you know, have work. Uh, I got to work with him. Uh, yeah. Because there are so many people uh, who must have uh, been trying to work with him. So yeah. I feel privileged uh, to have worked on all this film. And actually, uh, mm -hmm. it it actually uh, my my career in filmmaking, uh, uh, feature films uh is is because of the films i did with him um mm -hmm. it, it has helped uh, a lot um, i think it is uh, also to do with our relationship in uh, while we were working on commercials and the ease of work yeah has uh, yeah You know, I think that is, that is the, mm -hmm. the key. Um, yeah. I uh, I still picture uh, when I started uh, working in Bombay. Uh, mm -hmm. So he was going to start a feature film, uh, and I was I was just introduced and I started shooting with him. I did two commercials. Then I was not. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I thought he's going to go and uh, start shooting the feature film, which which mm -hmm. he eventually did. But but before he started doing that feature film, the, I got a lot of time because the, that feature film got pushed and pushed. So so okay. we we kind of uh, kept working commercial. That feature film I was not going to work on because it, he had already uh, you know had a team and they were working, they they were already on the on the contract and everything. So I knew I was not going to work on that feature film. But then okay. the, the 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 duration of uh, the, the commercials we worked on helped in mm -hmm. building a relationship 
Uh, okay. So the, he he knew I could deliver, and I knew mm -hmm. he is he, he is the one you know who, mm -hmm. um, sensibility for me that is uh, that is important. The the people I'm working with are, uh, and and their approach towards life towards cinema. So True. I knew he's a good human being as well as a great professional filmmaker. You know? mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, uh, so, the, so, so so the sensibility, the aesthetics of cinema, all those things uh, matter, and and I think uh, yeah, yeah I, I think it was uh, uh, nice to be uh, in that zone mm -hmm. where I I could get I I, I kind of wanted or wished okay that's that's really wonderful to hear in fact you know when when you, both of you come together for a project the, the the outcome of the project is so wonderful that you know it it remains in the viewer's mind this happened with me when i watched piku at the theater so of course the dialogues the music remained in my mind but the shots you know, be it, be it with regards to Irfan Khan, be it with regards to Deepika Padukone or Amita for that matter. In fact, you know, speaking about these stars, uh, they, they, they have been considered as the finest actors in the industry. And you got to work with all three of them, especially for Piku. Uh, and especially if you have to speak about Irfan Khan, you know, uh, it's, it's been really wonderful to see his achievement, his growth. So, how was this experience uh, working on the sets of Pico? Uh, it was amazing. I mean, to to get two different kind of actors. I mean, hmm. Amitabh Bachchan and uh, Deepika, purely commercial hmm. actors. Yes. Irfan was more of you know. Uh, non-commercial actor he became he, he was he is he, he had started doing commercial films but most of the time he was known as a yeah. theater guy you know yes so, uh, so it, it was a certainly a very uh, very good casting i would say mm. great casting in yeah. a way. where, where uh, uh, we could see the dynamics uh, and it was great dynamics mm. of the three actors amazing uh, mm. stuff would happen on the set you know um, irfan would improvise a lot and uh, it 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 it, it uh, created a different dynamics the chemistry uh, mm -hmm. was built up by, because irfan would do stuff which was uh, which was making the film uh, you know uh, nicer in, in the way okay it was required and probably the actors do bring in uh, and that mm -hmm. is why the films become uh, rich that's how the films yeah. become rich uh, if you yeah. just do if you just do what the, uh, the director has told you then then and then you are uh, as an actor you could be a robot but i'm i'm not i'm not talking about from actors point of view from cinematography's mm. uh, point of view um, it is uh, it is always great to have good actors so that yeah uh, so that whatever comes on screen is great uh, and uh, irfan who was uh, always uh, you know trying to mm -hmm. give his best even if he knew the scene is uh, is uh, is uh, for you know Deepika or for Michi. but mm -hmm. he he was always there he was he was uh, he was making the the, the scene uh, he was enriching the scene most of the time mm. okay. Michi, with so many 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 uh, times uh, he, he creates magic when he comes on the screen mm. you know, yeah the lens is amazing so is the pika uh, for mm. her, this film was actually a different kind of film. Um, okay. Doing a film with Sanjali Lavinsali is is mm. a different kind of a scenario. Like, you know, huge sets, uh, um, lot of uh, work goes 
for the for a for a shot and here sure. we were shooting in a day uh, but she was she responded really well what what she mm-hmm. did is um, not a lot of makeup we would not spend mm-hmm. too yeah. much on makeup and uh, exactly and she, her performances were amazing mm. so yeah i mean working with good actors is always uh, always a plus for everyone for everyone because uh, they would not take much time and you know you True. will have your time. and uh, from uh, from uh, from technical point of view we have to give them more time to perform so uh, if we yes. do our job uh, on time properly then they get more time to perform so yeah, yeah. nice i mean you know you you also gave us a perspective of you know the relationship that a cinematographer needs to have with the actor especially uh, on the set so uh, this brings me to your journey speak about your journey in the field of commercials you have worked for you know recognized brands prominent brands uh, amway tata capital enfield standard chartered and many others in fact your commercial for enfield also won uh, awards at uh, asia pacific advertising festival abis and at goa fest in fact to give a peek into one of the prominent commercial that you worked was for gujarat tourism where uh, amita bachchan was featured and spoke about uh, gujarat so let's have a glimpse of this ad for our viewers kach ka ye rana hindustan ka torun hai chandni raat ki ye safed dharti yu lagta hai jaise chand zameen par utar aaya hai प्रकृति की कठिनाइयों को दिल पे नहीं लेते कच्छ के लोग जीवन को सजाते हैं रंगों से कला से संगीत के सुरों से मांडवी का नीला समंदर भी यही है पास में यहां खुशबू है उत्साह की उत्सव की रंगों की कलाकारी खुशबू है गुजरात की आपने कच्छ नहीं देखा तो कुछ नहीं देखा कुछ दिन तो गुजारो गुजरात में सो दिस वॉज वन ऑफ दी प्रोमिनेंट कमर्शियल दैट यू शॉर्ट सो वेन इट कम्स टू वर्किंग फॉर कमर्शियल हाउ डिफरेंट इट इज वेन यू वर्क फॉर फ्यूचर एंड कमर्शियल वेल वेन यू शूटिंग कमर्शियल you don't get uh, much of time to uh, if you make mistake you you don't have time to correct it because you have limited time limited days yeah that's it you maybe uh, the, the company is are spending lot of money uh, mm-hmm. for that period of time so so you have no scope of you know going back and changing things with feature True. films uh yeah if you're shooting a scene so you can you can say okay i didn't like that scene or they'll say okay let's shoot it again because i didn't like mm-hmm. the performance or i think i want to change something so mm-hmm. yeah that is that is something which is uh, major apart from that i think the canvas is different uh, yeah think different when you're shooting commercial you think okay we just need uh, you know two second shot or a five second shot but with with, mm-hmm. with people, the scale is different the dynamics are different uh, so yes i mean uh, uh, its commercials are uh, quick yes they give you uh, good money uh, mm. yes so so it helps to uh, run your kitchen uh, <laughs> true <laughs> and uh, yeah i mean for me also i i had never uh, imagined to be doing commercials and when i started doing commercials uh, i loved it um, okay. because uh, feature film was not going to happen right away uh, mm. so it it was going to take that time and uh, it, it 
so commercial was a good good training ground i would say after film school uh, you know uh, where i could uh, hone my skills and uh, get to do different things and uh, you know uh, it it helped me it helped me uh, yes. not only with money but but with the with the different kind of jobs we were doing different situations we were in so it it, it just uh, uh, you you try you push your limits you do your experiments so so commercials mm-hmm. provide you this and uh, yeah that is that is the benefit of doing commercials actually okay in fact in fact my next question was like what is rewarding commercials or features in fact you gave the answer here and uh, you know uh, speaking about cinematography at what point of you know in in your career did you realize that this is it this is my field and i want to get into it um i think uh, you take take a step at a time and uh, i uh, i was working uh, i i didn't know i was going to be doing camera at all uh, when i, mm-hmm. I was uh, young uh, younger um but then uh, when i started doing camera i uh, was shooting a lot of uh, uh you know uh, cultural uh, shows art shows really mm-hmm. and uh, um so a lot of television uh, uh features but uh, but what would you do after some time you know you can't be mm. shooting interviews or so so there there was there was a time when i was shooting for international uh, production houses uh, i worked with kiris world records i worked with joshua tv i worked with, uh, I worked with international documentary filmmakers Um, mm, yes so that, that is that is where i thought you know what is next for me for, for, you know uh, i have what how will i grow in my profession mm-hmm. so that yeah. is where i started looking for opportunity or uh, for resources you know how i could take a step forward or climb the ladder so mm-hmm. the next up was to go and to cinematography you know it's uh, you know so rewarding yeah uh, but it's yeah. a natural step forward so that is what i uh, uh, thought mm. i came to bombay look for work look for assistantship actually and uh, mm-hmm. i didn't get any i was okay uh, on uh, television shows uh, you know uh, but then i thought what is the point if i'm going to be operating a video camera uh, that mm. i was doing in delhi also so i went back to delhi and then i started looking for opportunity where i could learn uh, cinematography as in shooting the negative you know mm. uh, that is what i felt was important to to uh, uh, learn because mm. uh, that is where that is that is how you understand what what cinema would be is uh, okay delhi was not giving me that opportunity uh, mm. so that's why i i have to uh, move into looking for uh, studies option this right mm. mm. yeah okay so and uh, uh, actually, yes actually uh, 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 um moved on to looking for my next step i didn't know i was going to be a cinematographer but that that seemed to be a natural uh, you know uh, yes step. yes uh, you know speaking about your uh, uh, education in cinematography you have a formal education uh, especially from polish national film and theater school and at national film and tv school of uk after you started working in the industry so you know uh, what do you think the importance of formal education especially when it comes to learning about skills in film making or television production or cinematography what's the importance of it see when i was uh, working in delhi um, as a camera person 
the question of uh, going to a film school was very hmm. very uh, important uh, hmm. even my parents would uh, ask me why do you want to study now because uh, you have already uh, you are already working and yeah. that question i uh, a lot of people uh, still ask they come a lot of students come and ask me you know, should hmm. they go to a film school uh, would it hmm. help them so that is a, like a basic uh, question of uh, and there is always going to be a dilemma you know uh, to spend yeah. uh, three years four years five years of your life and um, and then start working so i had already uh, worked for i think for um, eight five eight years um, mm. yeah i mean i worked for about five years behind the camera and uh, since i thought i was not going anywhere uh, so what mm-hmm. do i do and either i uh, go to bombay assist someone and mm-hmm. you know take another step uh, towards uh, film making and uh, or i go to a film school so or uh, there was um, another option of uh, buying a camera making your own hmm. films shooting your own films and learn from there um, hmm. so buying a camera was again uh, a difficult uh, uh, option because to buy a camera you need a lot of money uh, yes uh, I, i didn't have any money to buy a camera if i was going to buy a camera then uh, it, then you become um, kind of an entrepreneur where you might still uh, be having a camera and you might want to rent it out then so then it becomes so, a business you know and uh, i i i had known people who would just rent out the camera and then the whole okay. um, idea of learning from that camera uh, uh, goes away so that is the reason i thought i will go and uh, study uh, and do a kind of a formal workshop course mm. uh, i had gone to um, america uh, to do a workshop in steady cam operation and okay which which helped me a lot i mean it got me closer to the uh, exposing film but mm-hmm. then uh, steady cam um, was uh, just an excuse to okay. to get to, to the uh, to the film camera uh, i still needed to uh, know more about the hmm. you know uh, the chemistry of making film or the physics of camera hmm. so with all that you know in mind uh, i i i thought i'll i'll do a film making uh, like a cinematography course and in the process hmm. i discovered uh, polish film school which was amazing place to be um, roman polanski uh, went to the same film school and they were there you know Jack Swamy great cinematographer from Poland mm-hmm. so Polish cinema is uh, quite an interesting uh, cinema uh, and it, it is very well respected and that is yeah. where um, uh, my whole uh, approach towards cinema uh, also got built and changed um, you i my 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 scope of seeing things changed you know uh, it opened okay. my mind vistas for me and it opened my door to go to england also uh, okay I, uh, for a masters in cinematography from film school uh, i got in the uh, final list but i had no money to go to the film school so um, finally mm. i got a scholarship uh, and so i was a Screen Arts Scholar. Somebody paid for my education over there for the two years. Okay. So, otherwise, it was not possible for me to to be here as as a DOP or Masaka or Wikidona or Shersha. True. Uh, it, it it is it is uh, because of you know uh, the scholarships and yeah. so you know even after pursuing your studies there you you still chose to come back to india 
and and work in the industry like you know why bollywood why not maybe hollywood or you know polish industry yeah it's quite easy to say okay why not hollywood i think um, <laughs> in in coming um, years uh, we will have a lot of people uh, indian people working in hollywood but the time mm. i was uh, europe uh, the visa regime the the whole uh, uh, system of uh, you know uh, having working visa all that does doesn't uh, help uh, or didn't help indians uh, although uh, uh, the most of the, most of the time that, that is what stops uh, yes for, uh, but but the, the reason for uh, for uh, for the for the british uh, uh, funding agency uh, with, with the studies was so that i could go back home and uh, do wonders with uh, with the with the you know skills they they gave me uh, and uh, by the time i came back and i started working over here i i had uh, i had the uh, opportunity i got my migrant visa I, I i was i got the visa to live in, in uk and work there but by the time i i oh. i thought i saw uh, that i am going to be living a king size life over here yeah if, even if i work a lot my my life over there would be uh, uh, still a migrant so so that uh, that was the reason i just didn't uh, explore the uh, or i didn't take the initiative to go back although i had all mm -hmm. the opportunities uh, i had the basically i had the visa to work there uh, mm. as as a freelancer so but it's 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 uh, the kind of opportunity uh, bombay was giving at that point of time was also something which Uh, was remarkable because a lot of people from britain from australia from america yeah. a lot of professionals a lot of cinematographers were coming in and uh, watching yeah. feature films and that is what uh, most of the time uh, my uh, peer group was saying you know there are a lot of uh, why why not india and uh, mm. actually it was a, i was uh, in india uh, around the time when i was completing my uh, filmmaking course over there i had gone mm -hmm. to a festival in nepal and i came to india and visited bombay uh, i thought i will meet people and you know get to know mm -hmm. uh, if if the, uh, i i uh, i i can work um, and i can get good work so in in that process i met um, a director called boshik sarkar Okay. Now runs his own uh, company called Pretty Films. Uh, at that time, he was working in Red Ice, uh, which was uh, Sarkar's company. Uh, okay. So he was he was an independent director. He had just started directing his own commercials, and he uh, he was the first person to actually give me the break to say uh, okay. he had the confidence. In my uh, mm. work wheel. Uh, he said uh, he gave me an offer to shoot a, a commercial for him which i took uh, it went out really well and uh, mm -hmm. that opened the door for me in bombay and uh, okay you know a couple of commercials for him after coming i went back to uk came back again um, mm -hmm. with bag and baggage uh, since then yes i have been occupied busy then uh, then sujit uh, uh so i work with him and he gave me an opportunity that went really well and the second a uh, second thing i shot with uh, sudita was the entry commercial which went really well so you yeah. know one thing after the other uh, it just started building up that relationship that work of uh, profile so uh, yeah i the, i think that that went uh, well so mm -hmm. that's that's why i'm here true true and in in fact indeed we have been lucky uh, you know to to get to see your uh, films especially your works 
uh, in fact, uh, Kamal, your journey has been definitely an inspiration for a lot of filmmakers, especially those who want to get into cinematography. And uh, we have almost come to the end of the uh, entire masterclass. But before we open the forum for question and answer, in fact, participants, you can type in your questions in the chat box uh, uh, in the go to webinar. So uh, any any questions, any any suggestions you have, any compliments you would like to give it to Mr. Kamal, you can go ahead and type in. But before we open the question and answer forum, Kamal, uh, there are a lot of film budding film enthusiasts, budding filmmakers who have joined us here for this talk. What's your message for them? Um, I think times are have changed uh, from the time when I. Uh, Cinema will not change. I mean, basics will not True. change. Basics. Will Absolutely. Same. Frame will remain. Frame. Uh, lighting. You. The equipment might change. The style might change. Yes. But still, need uh, lights to uh, film or yes. create mood. So, uh, so to to know these techniques, to learn these techniques. One uh, needs to uh, spend time. Mm. So these days, uh, you have uh, options of watching a lot of YouTube videos to train yourself. But I think without personal guidance, without having mm. mentors, it is difficult. Uh, yes. When I was uh, at the film school, I had the opportunity to. Uh, have great, great, great cinematographer as my mentor. Mm. Uh, my mentor was Brian Tufano, uh, one of the British uh, cinema's great cinematographer who shot a lot of Danny Boyle's films. Uh, yes. Train Spotting, yeah. Shallow Grave. And then, and then I had another uh, cinematographer who shot uh, 12 Days of Slave, was Sean Bobbitt. He's Sean Bobbitt. Yes. Hmm. And uh, he also came from the documentary background. He mm, okay. A lot of documentaries. Uh, and then he he was shooting uh, feature films. Twelve Ways of Slave is one of them. So, so by by being in their company, hmm. it just gives you a lot of confidence. <laughs> yes, it helps a lot. Um, although a lot of people think that you know uh, by assisting uh, a cinematographer you will learn a lot of things i think yes sure. you might learn a lot of things but it takes a long time because when you are on a job i as a cinematographer would want that job to happen because that's not a film school where i'm going to sure. teach someone why i'm doing what i'm doing so i think the best is uh, to have a mentor, to have mm. a place which can nurture you, which can nourish True. you with the techniques, with the skills, with the with the aesthetics, sensibility. And yes. Provided me that you know, umbrella, yeah. that island, True. that safety net which I was uh, looking for or which I wanted or which helped me. So all these things are uh, are quite important. But yes. Everyone has, has his or her own journey, you know. So everyone uh, finds their own way. So film school is one way and I think it is, really, um, it is the best way uh, hmm. Tackle this question. A lot of people yes. say there is a lot of time, you know, I will, it will take me many years to spend. But I, I don't think so. I mean, the kind of return uh, one gets is amazing. Because I came into the film school and I was 30 years old and I got my you know, first film. Yeah. 10 years coming out of the film school. Yes. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, I'm, I'm, I feel very happy to tell it to our participants that uh, Mr. Kamaljeet would be, in fact, he has already joined us 
as the uh, member on our advisory I, I board for our okay uh, can you hear me now kamal am i audible can you all hear me i hope uh, the participants yes yes it's it's okay uh, in fact i was about to say that you know we we are happy to announce that kamal has joined as the member of our advisory board for our new course which will be launching this semester that is ba in film studies and television production so kamal uh, and dear participants the forum is open for discussions i can already see a lot of questions uh, which have you know come here and uh, a lot of enthusiasts are eager to know all about uh, filmmaking so there is a question by mehak which we already covered uh, where she spoke about she basically asked about like you know how was your experience working with amita bachchan especially for uh, piku going okay uh, there is a question from hashim hussein who is asking about storyboarding whether storyboarding as uh, has ever helped you with cinematography storyboarding is um, is is a good tool to uh, you know uh, as an uh, as a approach it is good but it works very well with commercials where you have limited time Uh, only uh, I know of uh, feature films uh, where directors use storyboarders. Uh, uh, the brothers, the Cohen brothers. Hmm. They are the they are the only one uh, who actually uh, come with storyboards and they shoot as they storyboard. So, so it's it's it works for them. Uh, it doesn't work for everyone. on a feature film it is uh, the kind of scale it is it's very difficult you have to be very sure the director should be very sure uh, the production design is very precise that is where uh, it will probably work better so uh, i think uh, the kind of films i have done uh, they are very realistic uh, uh, and in real locations as well uh, we have yeah. we have shot With a with a Mitchy on the cycle in Calcutta, um, like I mean, just yeah. roll yes uh, on the road, but but taking him uh, on the road with Through. all the that traffic is difficult. Uh, you can't storyboard that, so you get what yes. you get. Um, so these 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 things cannot. Um, I mean, w w the kind of things I've done, they're they're very very real. um and that's that that creates the dynamics the dynamism of the of that cinema is from from that uh, reality uh, mm -hmm. when you're doing storyboard i think uh, it you can do but on a feature film i think it is it is a, a huge task for everyone to follow yes there is also a question from kishan patra uh who asks that whether cinematography has become easier with the new technologies in picture uh like you know whether it has made the work of a cinematographer easier or has it also made complicated especially for a cinematographer i don't think it is i mean uh, for me it is uh, same or similar hmm it's only uh, the images have become very sharp they become very plasticky you know the, the kind of things we used to get on while we were shooting uh, negative the yeah. texture would be different apart from that i don't think uh, the process is say similar i mean we uh, only thing is that we we don't have to wait for the images to be processed and then then watch them so everything is instant so uh, yeah i mean life is uh, more instant now and before okay uh, uh, there is also a suggestion been asked by mehak uh, from uae uh, basically asking like what do you suggest especially someone who wants to get into film should i get into internships and you know then then get into the jobs what's your suggestion especially for the filmmakers budding filmmakers 
I think everyone has to find their way uh, into the filmmaking business. Uh, it all depends uh, the kind of uh, volume uh, in in UAE. I don't know uh, how much of work uh, is there in in film business. Um, oh. and, uh, so so if if there is a lot of work, you can do intern. First of all, you have to decide. I mean, are you going to be doing uh, which which uh, department you are going to be uh, interested in? So for that, mm. yes, an internship would help to know uh, yeah. uh, where where you want yourself to fit in. You want to do yeah. direction. You want to do You want to do sound, camera. What do you want to do? So by by being an intern, yes, you would get to know which uh, which direction you want to take, and then you can decide. Uh, uh, how you know what step you want, would want to take? Do you want to go to the film school to learn the skills, or you want to assist someone? You want to uh, learn by yourself from uh, online from classes? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there have been a lot of compliments for you for your work, especially from uh, Karthik, Muskan, uh, Shiv, uh, Elsa. And uh, uh, there is a question, in fact, which is uh, quite relevant. What is the scenario post COVID-19, like especially when it comes to cinema and film, how, how it's going to be? It's going to be great. Things, <laughs> uh, uh, things are going to get better. We are all going to start yes. shooting soon. Uh, yes. In fact, shootings have started. Um, yeah. So things. These things are going to become normal, although we will have to be very careful uh, with yeah. the way uh, we interact with uh, other uh, people. The crew might um, uh, come down, the, the number of members will have to be shortened, or we'll have to find ways and uh, mm -hmm. you know, how we interact uh, with uh, actors or the crew. So, that I think those. Uh, Standard operating procedures uh, will have to uh, be sorted out. Suppose COVID nineteen. Yeah. I mean, I think we we are just uh, uh, going to be uh, two months down the line, probably. Yes, we'll be, we'll be all fine. I mean, probably uh, yes. in India, especially people will even forget COVID nineteen. True. That's how I I hope uh, we'll move forward. Hmm. Yes, uh, I guess with these uh, question and answer session, we will be ending our entire. We will be ending our entire. You. Okay, uh, can you hear me now, Kamal? Will? I can now. Yes. 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 So uh, uh, with this, we have come to the end of the entire session. Thank you, Kamal, for your precious time and especially for all these insights. I'm sure all our participants, especially students and those who want to pursue their career in cinema, in film and TV productions have got a clarity on, you know, what they should be doing next. Thank you so much for being here, for being on our uh, masterclass. I'm glad to be here. Thank you very much for having me here. I hope it has yeah. helped. All the definitely, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, uh, dear participants, before we end up, uh, Mahe Dubai, Manipal Academy of Higher Education Dubai, has been recently uh, given a five-star rating by KHDA uh, for its uh, through its their latest higher education classification. And as part of Mahe Dubai, our School of Media and Communication is all set to introduce new courses with regards to film and television production. So those who want to pursue your career in the field of cinema, do visit our campus for any inquiries. You can visit our open house sessions, which will take place tomorrow from 4 to 8 p.m. And for more details, you can definitely visit our website, www.manipaldubai.com. And you can also get updates through our uh, official Facebook and Instagram accounts. Thank you all the participants for your wonderful participation, wonderful interaction through your questions. I'm sure this masterclass has been a wonderful experience for all of you. 
we will be coming up with the next series very soon keep stay tuned on our social media platform where you would get the updates thank you once again everyone have a great weekend